welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to make a stuffed chicken. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and give us a big thumbs up. And... Notification bell. The notification bell. And, and comment down below if you do this. And I'm going to be in the last part, so... Yeah, Liam's going to help with the cheese. Okay, so today so we're going to do a... I'm going to stuff about probably six chicken breasts. This is just the recipe that I have. Um, so I'm just going to chop my vegetables up on camera with y'all. So right now I'm just going to cut these, you know, the broccoli. Um, I just chop up my broccoli kind of fine. Um, I'm probably going to need about two cups because I never normally measure. So... so. So I'm just going to put it in a glass bowl and then I'm going to put about um, a third of a cup of water and I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. We're going to go ahead and chop up next a red bell pepper. That's what this recipe calls for. We've got about a cup of peppers. I'll be right back guys. Okay, so now we've already chopped our vegetables. We have the uh, broccoli in the microwave. We are going to shred up some cheese. You're going to need Monterey Jack and mild cheddar. You could use Kobe. It's really whatever you prefer. It's whatever you like. You need to stand up to do this. Oh. You need to shred it on this big side. Come on. We don't have a lot of battery. Liam's going to help shred. No, you don't move the shredder. You move only the cheese block. Good job. Go faster. Hold on. I got it. Shred it up about a whole, almost a whole block. We just left a little tiny piece left out of it of the Monterey Jack. Liam's gonna uh, start shredding up this cheddar cheese. I'll hold it. You shred. No, only on this one, honey. Okay, but you can't hit the slicer, baby. You have to hit only this one. Good job. So we're gonna shred up some cheddar. We're using sharp cheddar. Uh, people like to, you can use Colby Jack, really any kind of type of cheese you prefer, but I definitely recommend using Monterey Jack with whatever other cheese you're going to use. So we're just going to shred this block up really quick, guys. Okay, guys, so we're doing stuffed chicken breast. Um, we already have our broccoli cut up right here. Um, I steamed it in a glass bowl in the microwave. I cut up about two cups of fresh broccoli, then I put about a third of a cup of water. I covered it airtight with saran wrap and I steamed it for two minutes. Um, I don't have time to steam it on the stove when I'm going to be using it for a stuffed chicken recipe. And then we went ahead and shredded up some cheese, uh, Monterey Jack and cheddar, and then we have our chopped bell pepper. So we're just going to mix this. This is going to be the stuffing for the chicken. So we're going to do the broccoli, about a cup of red bell peppers. Um, we're going to do ooh, about a uh, well, a tablespoon of garlic, which I kind of know what that looks like. So, a tablespoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper to taste. It's all up to you how much you want to use. Okay. And then cheese. You can use as much cheese as you want. I feel like the cheese is the most important part on my end. Um, I use a lot of the Monterey Jack. So we're, we put a lot of cheese in our stuffed chicken. Some might even think it's a little too much. And then we're going to need mayonnaise. You're going to need mayonnaise. I use mayonnaise in mine. Um, you can use cream cheese, whatever y'all want to use. I do about... A really full tablespoon so it's like a tablespoon and a half maybe a little more just kind of whatever you think you know looks good and one second okay and then we're just gonna mix it up okay so this is what it looks mixed like it mixed up so I am wearing my husband's uh, game winner apron. I don't have my own apron yet. I will get one. Anyway, <coughs> so 
So you want to get your chicken breast. I'm also prepping up my table because this is where I have the best light. I got some pretty thick chicken breasts here. Um, you can trim them up how you want. I normally cut off whatever fatty pieces there are. And then we're just going to slice. You want to be careful when you slice. You don't want to slice through them. What are you doing? Nothing. Just pocket them out. You don't have to look at me. Okay, guys, now that you have them all sliced and pocketed it out, we're going to go ahead and... I've only touched them with this hand. We're going to go ahead and season. I use a little bit of paprika on them. It's whatever y'all want to put, really. I feel like paprika goes good with this recipe. A little bit of salt. There's like a rise in flies out here. I don't know what is up with it. Uh, pepper. Pull that little queer thing. And a little bit of garlic. Pull the queer thing like this. Okay, now that the season's all chickened up, we're going to go ahead and I guess we're going to start stuffing. So I just use my spatula. Put as much stuffing in there as I can. Even if it overflows a little bit, it's fine. It's all going to the same place in your belly. So. And I like try to really pack it in there. So. Okay. Now both hands will be dirty because this is the part <coughs> that is like one of the hardest. Okay, once you have it stuffed with as much stuffing as you want in there, I use toothpicks just to put it through. Some people, they use um, string. It's whatever you prefer. Toothpicks is just what I had on hand, so that's what I'm going to use today. And you're going to repeat the process and go ahead and stuff every chicken and then seal it. All my chickens stuffed and ready to go. I am going to put them into a pan and sear them on each side. I'm going to use my cast iron because once um, I am done letting them sear on each side, Make sure your pan's a little hotter than mine because it's not as hot as it is. We're going to let them sear on the first side for a couple of minutes. Okay, guys, so we're just going to sear them. And be careful when you flip them. Some of your stuffing may fall out, but don't worry because you're going to cook it all in the same pan. I do have some extra stuffing that I'm just going to drop in here. Because it does kind of make a gravy. And then... Cover it with aluminum foil. Okay. <clears throat> and once it's covered, just go ahead and pop it in your oven for 30 minutes. And I'll be back with y'all whenever it's done baking and show y'all what the after looks like. It looks so amazing. 
guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. The chicken looks great. I'm excited to try it. Make sure that my recipe came out good. If y'all want to go ahead and like and subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. But please give us a big thumbs up on this video. Um, if y'all do try this, if y'all want to comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the recipe. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Y'all have a great night. Bye.